So yeah, we recorded uh, Spiritual Instinct with Benoit Roux and uh, the name of the studio is Jordan House Studio. It's, it's next to uh, Nantes, so uh, west of France. He's the one who worked on Kodama as well, our previous record. And he's mixed uh, Ekai de Lune and Les Voyages de l'Âme. For Kodama, I, th I think we, we spent quite a lot of time in the, in the studio. For this one, it was actually maybe not twice longer, but quite much longer. And uh, we went a little bit too far with like the studio craziness. For this one, we, we went even farther and and you can hear a lot of different textures and even some electronic elements. And, and yeah, the challenge was to, to keep it organic, but also very big and powerful. The songs were written in a very spontaneous way. And in the end, the recording was everything but spontaneous. So that's something that we, we will try to do more in the future, to try to keep like, the, the energy of the first the first time you play the song, you know. Writing is at the same time never the same and always the same. It's, uh, it's a very cryptic and mysterious process. Uh, usually I, I find one riff and maybe two riffs and I have like a beginning of a song and sometimes can take weeks before I, I find the rest of a song. Uh, sometimes months, you know, you just have the beginning and you're like, fuck, I'm, I'm missing the fucking end of this song like for so many weeks and I can't find it and it's like so frustrating. Uh, but this time, some of the songs were written in, in like one day. So that was really cool because most of the time it takes ages. So yeah, you have to make sure that every single part is as it should be. So I'm just getting rid of most of my riffs, you know, and just keep playing. Like, what I consider to be the, the best ones. How Winter Hatter and I work is, uh, I'm sending him the guitar demos, and first he tells me what he thinks about the, the song, because uh, even if he's not like playing guitar or anything, his opinion really matters to me, because he has a very, very different way to feel music. He's way more rhythmic, so he likes when riffs have a certain rhythmic catchiness uh, and for me I tend to be maybe a bit more on the melodic side and on the what I consider to be like the emotional side but again like emotions are very subjective I guess. He tells me what he thinks about the song. I go record like very shitty drum, drum parts because I'm playing a little bit of drums too and I like to bring a few ideas too. I, I send it to him and he, he adds like his own feel, you know, to, uh, to the drums. He has a very, very great sound, you know, he's been working on his drum sound for like many years now. He's been inspired by John Bonham, you know, from uh, Led Zeppelin, so he's really into like uh, big ass, like uh, organic drum sounds. But it's very interesting, like, what is inspiration? Uh, where does it come from? Uh, well, there is no way to create it. That's the one thing that is sure. You can't decide, yeah, today I'm going to write a fucking great song. No, that's not how it works. It's in words, you know, it's uh, that day you had something to say and maybe you didn't even know it yourself.